are using virtual reality to help medical and nursing students gain skills to manage agitated patients safely and also with empathy. The NUS Yong Lulin School of Medicine is rolling out a new program amid rising cases of violence against healthcare workers. Sherlin Xia tries her hand at this course. I don't care. I am leaving. In this scenario, a patient is creating a scene as she experiences hallucinations while high on drugs. Students get to take on the challenge of trying to manage the patient and calm her down. And the urgency of the situation is as realistic as it gets, with only 8 seconds to make each right decision or things could escalate. I'll now give it a go and hopefully I arrive at the best outcome. This is what it's like when the patient has calmed down after the healthcare worker speaks to her using carefully chosen words. Okay. But in a less than ideal ending, she could hurl things at the user and would need physical restraints. It's a situation that's all too real as cases of abuse of healthcare workers rise. There were more than 1,400 reported cases last year, up from 1,300 in 2020. Therefore, it's very important for healthcare workers to be able to be equipped with the necessary skills to manage agitation well. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for our medical and nursing students to experience firsthand what is it like to manage an agitation in a clinical setting. Because usually when uh, there's such cases happen, we usually keep them away for their own safety. So through this VR setting, they actually get to interact with the virtual patients. It even includes distractions seen in real life. From a trial conducted among 65 students, more than 90% of them gain more confidence in dealing with agitated patients. Virtual reality painted a very experiential learning experience that is very real. There are like sounds from the TV remote, there's sounds from other patients' beats, right? So it really paints what it's like in a hospital. And this really gave me a lot of confidence as to what to say, what decisions to make. Around 600 medical and nursing students will go through this program each year once it rolls out in June.